Hi everyone, thanks for coming to Thought About with me today. I'm just going to be doing a quick video on something I've been wanting to do for a while now. Um, basically, I've if you've been following just my, my violets and my story, um, I've had a lot of additional violets which I've had to um, just repropagate because I had an issue with um, soil mealybug. Um, one of the issues that I have now is that I've got a lot of um, like little plug plants um, that need I need to do something with. So this is something that I've wanted to do for a while in terms of using a container, particularly glass or acrylic, um, a bowl or um, sometimes I think you get those goldfish phases. But basically um, I went to a charity store um, just yesterday and I found this interesting um, glass. I'm not sure if it is in particular a terrarium. It has got a little hole on the top where you can like hook it onto or hang it from something. So it could be a hanging terrarium. I'm not sure. It could be anything. Um, I just know I wanted to use it for um, African violets because it will create, um, I guess, an area within here um, which will, I don't know, be ideal conditions for a violet in terms of holding in a bit of moisture in this space. So um, there isn't much, like, I don't know, planting area to this. I would say maybe about an inch um, just from the bottom, but it is wider. So I've got some trailing plugs here. You can see how tall they are already. This is Rob's Wulumulu. Um, I'll link the video in the description below. Plus, I may just have um, like an e-card or something linked to the video as well uh, if you want to watch that just to see what it looks like. Um, but basically, it's just a trailing variety. I think it's a semi-miniature and it has um, pink flowers. It did do really well for me when I had it in this eight centimeter pot and it just was, it, I think it was probably one of the longest blooming violets that I had. Anyway, so I've got three crowns of that and I'm just, I think three is probably even more than I'll need to fill up the space. Um, I'll say maybe it's about 12 centimeters just from there to there. It would help if I had a ruler, which I do, so I'll just grab that. Um, sorry, so I'll say white and it's about yeah, 15 centimeters across and then about Yeah, about an inch just to the lip of this and then um, Maybe about just to the top I don't know. What is that? 27 28 centimeters. So about 11 11 inches Anyway, so that's the plan. I'm just gonna remove these plants from here. I'm not going to use any additional soil from what I'm using in here. Actually in the uh, tub where I was storing these, this is still quite wet. So I'm using dry perlite just as a medium to cover the soil and just so it looks a bit better but that's the only reason I'm using that. Um, and then I do have as well just this Rob's Argyle socks. I've got one, two, three, four basically small plants in there. Um, it's probably overkill, but I'll try and get one of those. I'll see how it looks. It'll be the last thing I do, but I'll put the um, Rob's Wulu Mulu in first, just in a in three of them in a triangle. And then if I can, I'll just put in the um, Argyle socks. I've never got the Rob's Argyle socks to flower. So um, I, it's a semi-miniature as well, which is probably, this area will be too small for all these three plus an additional one, but um, I just want to see what it looks like. It's just an experiment really, so I'll just do that. Okay, so basically I've placed the plants in um, just as what I think is the best position. 
Um, I've tried to get one just like almost coming through to the entrance, so um, I'll just backfill with the leftover soil I have from the pot and then um, I'll just top it with a little bit of perlite. Okay, so that's basically the violets planted up and I'll just show you what it looks like. Sorry, there's a bit of a glare just from the light. Let's see if I can block that. Um anyway, so I did end up just putting the three Rob's Wulu Mulu. Um, I'm not sure I'm actually if I'm honest, I'm not sure about the hundred percent of the positioning of them, but I think they'll just hopefully spread out in whichever way they are growing. Um, I did put one tiny um, Rob's Argyle socks in there, just by the entrance, so if it does flower, um, I'll be happy with that. Um, I was going to put it in the center, but I think just um, there was more space where I put it at the moment, um, and I will be able to see just underneath. I'll try and get it to show you. Um, if it's wet, uh, you can sort of see touches of moisture or um, any roots coming through. So I'll be able to monitor it uh, in that sense. And that's just using the... Just cause you, because you're using glass, you can just see through it. So um, I did fill up with more dry soil or potting mix. And I just put a bit of extra perlite on top. That was more just decorative. Um, I'm not sure if it really needed it, to be honest. I was going to put a lot more, but I think just even with regular soil, it looks nice um, in contrast to the green. Um, so I will just put a touch of water. I'm going to use um, just my normal squeeze bottle, which has a little nozzle which can reach in the center. So I'll just water where, the, where each crown is really, or just below each crown. Um, and I'll just watch on the bottom to see that not a lot of water is collecting. Anyway, I will just put this at the edge of my desk here. just. There is a touch of light, um, so I can keep an eye on it and I can keep rotating it um, as well. Um, but basically, that's just my setup at the moment, so I'll have that on my desk. Um, it is quite crowded, but um, as you can see, I've just got a few plants there. Um, I'm slowly picking up all of the violets again. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have tried it or if you have any comments or questions for me, um, anything really, um, just leave them below. Thanks for watching and goodbye.